Welcome to our tour of RAR. RAR is a tool to help optimize the performance of your character in World of Warcraft. It's designed to be fun and easy to use and will help you find the best gear available to you, correctly gem and enchant it, talent yourself, see the potential value of upgrades, and much, much more. A good place to start is loading your character from the armory. Go to File, then Load from Armory, type in your character name, server, and select your region and hit OK. RAR will download the data about your character from the armory, including gear, gems, enchants, and talents. In this case, I've loaded a bear druid, so performance is measured in terms of tanking for a druid. However, RAR supports almost every class in spec. As you can see, the gear equipped on your character is displayed here, and when you mouse over an item, the irrelevant data on that item is displayed, including stats, gems, source, and more. I just got these new bracers last night and haven't enchanted them yet. Let's enchant them in RAR. By clicking the enchant button below them, a list pops up of the available enchants with a bar underneath to indicate the performance benefit of each one. In this case, I'm a leather worker, so I'll use fur lining stamina. And you can see that it appears under the item on the main screen. I also noticed that I accidentally left one of my DPS rings equipped. Let's fix that as well by clicking on the button for the first finger slot. As with enchants, a pop-up appears, containing the potential items to put in this slot as well as their ratings. There are quite a lot of rings, but I remember that my other tanking ring is named Titan something, so I'll type in Titan in the filter box. Ah, there it is, the Titanium Earthguard ring. A few different copies of it show up for each relevant gemming of it. The icons of the gems are shown directly in the pop-up, and you can see their stats when looking at the item's tooltip by mousing over it. There's the one I want. RAR also includes your character's talents. Since I loaded my character from the armory, these are already filled out, but I could edit them if I wanted, or save and load different talent specs to easily compare them. Buffs are an important part of your character's performance, and can significantly skew the values of potential upgrades, if not included. So it's very important that you buff yourself as you expect to be buffed in your rates. In this case, I'll select just a few buffs, since I usually expect to be doing 10-man rates. The last tab is Options, where you'll find model-specific settings such as fight conditions and glyphs, etc. Now I'll go back to the Stats tab and see the results. The different models for each class and spec will show the stats relevant to that kind of character. Next, I want to look at some potential upgrades. I know that my necklace is pretty poor and would like to find a better one, so I'll go to the Charts drop-down and choose Neck. The chart of all relevant necklaces appears. I'd like to find something that I can reliably get outside of Raid, so I'll go to the Filters dropdown and uncheck Raids and Heroic Raids. I can see a few potential upgrades are left. Looking at the first one, Titanium Earthguard Chain, I can see that it's crafted from Jewel Crafting. That sounds perfect. I can also right-click on it and choose the handy Open in Wowhead option to open Wowhead's page for that item in my web browser. Next, I'd like to optimize my gear. If you tell RAR what items you have available for each slot, it can optimize your gear by finding the best combinations of items, gems, and enchants. So first, I need to mark what I have available. To do so, just click the green diamond next to the item in the chart so that it becomes filled. Since we loaded from the armory, all of the items, enchants, and gems that I had equipped were automatically marked as available. However, I need to mark other items that I already have or could easily acquire. For example, I know that I have my 10-man tier 7 helm, so I'll mark the diamond next to Hero's Dreamwalker headguard. Then I'll continue through each slot and mark the other alternate items I have. I also have been considering enchanting my boots for stamina, so I'll mark that boot enchant available by going to the feet enchants chart and marking it. Now I'm ready to optimize. 
Go to Tools, then Optimize to bring up the Optimizer window. Here you can set additional requirements such as requiring that avoidance is at least 40% or that frost resist is at least 100 or a variety of other things specific to your class and spec. There's also a thoroughness slider to choose how extensively RAR will look for better combinations. Even on low thoroughness settings, RAR will almost always find the best combination, but it's there in case you really want to make sure and don't mind waiting a while. Click Optimize to begin optimizing. RAR will look through all the available items in Chance and Gems you have and find the best combination. When it finishes, it'll pop up a message saying that it found a better combination and offer to equip that set of gear. As you can see, a few items have changed and several items have been re-gemmed or re-enchanted. Now I can go back to WoW and equip the new items and change the gems and enchants and be confident that my gear will now let me perform optimally for my raids. But what about potential upgrades? I can always go to the charts and look at the relevant items for each slot. But what if I want a single view of all upgrades that considers that an item may be more of an upgrade when combined with swapping other items, gems, or enchants? RAR supports that too. Go back to the optimizer and click Build Upgrade List instead of Optimize. This is a much more involved set of calculations, so it will take longer, but will give you a nice list of all the items that you could get and how much of an upgrade they will be to you. You can use this to prioritize what items you get first and how hard you work toward them. I can then save this list of upgrades so I can load it quickly again later. Now that I'm done optimizing, I can save my whole character as well, so that I can come back to it later. Thanks for watching this tour of RAR. RAR includes tons of features which we didn't have time to show here, so check it out today. You can download it from rar.codeplex.com.